Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Inner Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Today I'd like to talk to you about a very interesting study conducted in the UK. And the study was actually um, carried out by the University of Oxford and several other groups. And it studied some almost 45,000 people, I think it was 44,500 people over a period of time and looked at looked at their um, incidence of heart disease, dying from heart disease, being hospitalized for heart disease. They found that, interestingly enough, vegetarians had a 32% less likelihood, basically, of um, going to hospital for heart disease or dying from a heart attack or some other kind of coronary event than their, their peers who were meat eaters. So that was an interesting uh, study and also a very... Um, helpful study because it really tells us that there are many things we can do in order to uh, improve our outlook when it comes to heart disease. When you consider that some 95,000 or more people die from a heart attack or some form of heart disease in the UK per year, um, if vegetarians are 32% less likely, that means you could reduce that by a third essentially. Um, you know, giving other factors, what have you. But, you know, what they found specifically was that vegetarians had lower blood pressure, lower levels of the bad cholesterol, and also um, better weight levels. You know, they tended to be less overweight than meat eaters. So I thought that was a very interesting study to bring to your knowledge. That doesn't mean necessarily you have to give up eating meat, but if you eat more vegetables, and also some of my recommendations are to avoid refined carbohydrates, avoid sugars uh, as much as possible, and uh, drink plenty of water. Um, along with that, of course, you can consume herbs that are good for the circulatory system, like hawthorn, cayenne, uh, and others. And if you'll adopt a, veg a diet that's closer to vegetarian diet, um, that has less meat, and especially avoid um, farm-raised meat in the sense of factory farm-raised meat, and instead focus on um, the meats you do consume, if you do, um, that they be from free-range animals. Um, part of the, the way that you can bring these changes into your life is to, is to actually start by planning meals. I was actually talking to a good friend of mine, I was actually over at their house and uh, fixing some food and they found it very astonishing that I was able to just figure out, find whatever was in the refrigerator and come up with a tasty dish um, and I said to them, I almost never use a recipe book, but a recipe book is helpful. In, in initially. But then with time, you can learn how to use herbs and spices and garlic and ginger and onions and stuff like that um, in order to give good taste to any dish. So stay healthy, consider a vegetarian diet or a, a modified vegetarian diet because it really will help you with your um, circulatory system to stay healthy and to avoid heart disease. Thank you all for watching. This is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose.